how to automate GitHub using the power of AI, which means you want to automatically write the code, automatically identify errors, automatically fix errors, and automatically create pull requests right from your browser. Here is a chatbot which is integrated with my GitHub account, and I ask you to write a short description about the to-do list app at the bottom of the screen. Based on my description, it read my code, made those modifications, and created a pull request for me, as you can see here. So if I open this, so here is the pull request it created with the title, with a clear description on what it did. Even if you see the file changes, it modified my style sheet, the code in one of the file based on the requirement, committed the change, and I was able to merge this to the main branch. As a result, I was able to update this to-do list app. Now you are able to automate this, even if you're a complete beginner, you can ask AI to write code, identify errors, fix errors, and create pull requests automatically. I use Chat LLM for Teams. You can even integrate this with many other applications. And thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. Using Chat LLM for Teams, you are able to access multiple large language models, create user management profiles, chat with large PDFs, and create custom chatbot. You have code text editor right from your browser. You are able to view the code and preview the code, create charts, search the web, create images, generate videos, and much more. All of this for $10 per user per month. I'll put the link in the description for you to sign up. I'm going to take you through step-by-step step how you can automate your GitHub workflow right from your browser and how I did it. So you can try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, if you're trying to create a repo in GitHub, which means saving your code in GitHub, then you might need to create a new repository, give a name for your repository, and then you can create it. Next to add code, you need to follow these steps. Once after you've saved your code in the Git repo, step number one, in chat alum for Teams, once after you log in, in the tools section you have GitHub Connect. Click on that, then you'll be redirected to GitHub to allow permission. So allow the permission. So after that, you will see a window like this. Here, make sure you click this link to install this Abacus AI app in GitHub. And it'll come to a page like this where you can install. So once after you install, choose the repo which you want to modify or automate. So I'm clicking on this one and selecting all the files required and clicking add files. Now you can see the files are getting added to the context. So now I'm going to say create a sidebar and move the description to the sidebar and clicking enter. Now you can see it's analyzing the code and here it says I can create a sidebar with to do app and move the description there. Would you like me to proceed with generating the required HTML and CSS changes? I'm just going to say, please proceed. And here is the response. I can create a sidebar for your to do app with index HTML and style.css changes. And I'm going to click create pull request, asking me to create branch, saying a feature branch with sidebar, create pull request. And here is a pull request created. I'm going to click this URL. And here's the title of the pull request with the description about what are the changes. File changes to, I'm going to click that. And you can see it automatically created the style and also made a modification with the sidebar. That is super cool. The reason why we use Git is so that we can create revisions. And even if I want to revert the code, I should be able to do it. So now based on this, it's asking me to merge the pull request, which means it's a confirmation to merge the updated code with my main branch. So that is a production code. So as soon as I click this, now the code got merged to the main branch, as you can see here, which means this is the live code which is running. So the branches are nothing but test code in simple terms for beginners. So even locally, I can test this by pulling those changes. And here is the updated change about cursor agents, a collection of AI agents for cursor interaction. Now I can still modify this further to make it relevant to this app. But for now, I'm going to leave this here and I will let you do it. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this GitHub interaction, I've also created a beginner's tutorial in regards to chat LLM for Teams, which I will put the link here, which I highly recommend for you to watch. And I will see you there.